So my name is Joshua Bengio and I'm a professor at University of Montreal, the scientific director of MILA. So my research is about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is about designing systems that have intelligence comparable to ours. And one of the big questions is how do we put knowledge into computers so that they can be intelligent? What my field of research has done to answer this question is allowed us to realize we can actually provide knowledge to computers by allowing them to learn from examples. That's called machine learning. And then what we do in deep learning is a form of machine learning inspired by the brain and cognition. So that's the term neural networks, which involves inspiration from how neurons compute in the brain. Deep learning specifically is an approach to a neural network where we focus on the notion of representation. In other words, we think that what allows our brain to be smart is that it discovers good ways to represent information, to go from pixels to high-level concepts and then be able to manipulate those high-level concepts. And, and that's what I've been working on in the last few decades. turns out that this is actually working and it's changing the world. So one motivation for this work is that it really has given a lot of competence to computers so that they can now understand images, texts, sounds much better than before. And they can even be creative to synthesize new images and new sounds, music. But at the same time, we have to be careful about how that technology is being deployed. One of the things I care about is making sure that scientists and decision makers feel responsible about how these new technologies are going to change the world. We want to make sure that the world is changed in positive ways. Finally, one motivation for this whole thing is more like pure beauty of science, understanding what is intelligence, because intelligence is something very special about humans and something we want to understand to understand who we are. Um, it's our intelligence, it's animal intelligence, and uh, the kind of intelligence we can put in the future in machines. Maybe all of these forms of intelligence can be explained by a few simple principles, like the laws of physics, but the laws of intelligence.